So quick democracy check. The polls show, and these of course were taken before the invasion, that the vast majority of Americans oppose getting involved in the conflict in Ukraine. Tulsi Gabbard has watched all of this from the beginning. Of course, she is a military veteran, currently serving, by the way, a former member of Congress. She's been denounced as a foreign agent for speaking on behalf of the majority of Americans. She joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks so much uh, for coming on. Um, Thank you. So what, what's your reaction to what we've seen in the past 24 hours? Uh, well, first of all, I do not in any way support Putin's decision to go into Ukraine. It is causing and going to cause an immense amount of suffering uh, yes. for the people there. I've been to Ukraine a few times. I have personal friends who are still in Ukraine. People have nothing to do with politics. Everyday Ukrainians. And they're afraid, Tucker, and they're angry. They're angry yep. at Russia. They're angry at America. And they're angry at the failure of leadership that could have prevented this. And that is the thing that is most tragic about this heartbreaking situation with this war is that it could have been avoided. If President Biden and NATO had done exactly what you were just talking about in, in agreeing, hey, we're going to take NATO off the table for Ukraine, something that both the U.S. and NATO have agreed is not likely to ever happen and something that is a legitimate security concern for Russia, that they, can, they won't accept having U.S. and NATO troops on their border within Ukraine. Had the U.S. and NATO leadership done this, this situation could have, could, could have been uh, prevented. I think, I so, think the, the, the problem here in America is that uh, people who bring this up, people who ask these questions, people who challenge the decisions that the Biden administration uh, has been making in this uh, are, are smeared and, and character, caricaturized um, as traitors uh, yes. rather than actually pointing at the truth, which is this administration is not acting in the best interest of the American people. They are turning their backs on the American people. So now that the current policy has failed, and I don't know anybody who thinks the invasion of Ukraine is a good thing, um, how volatile a situation is it? I mean, people don't seem to want to address that question, but these things tend to escalate in ways you don't anticipate, like sideways. Are you worried about that? I, I'm extremely concerned about it, and this is what you and I have talked about in the days and weeks leading up to this situation, forecasting exactly what we are seeing playing out today, where you see this back and forth, where uh, you have the leader of Russia and the leader of the United States of America saying, hey, yes, if they cyber attack, we are going to attack back stronger. This escalation of a tit for tat will only continue to increase. And no one, no one in the Biden administration, the leadership in this country is saying, where does this go? Where does it end? What, do, what does it resolve and what will it continue to cost the American people? The most dangerous thing is that we're talking about an escalation of conflict between the two great nuclear armed powers in the world who have nuclear armed missiles at the ready, prepared to launch at a moment's notice. And so whether this, this could get to that point intentionally or mistakenly through a miscalculation, as we've seen happen right. numerous times throughout history, this is the seriousness of the, of the threat that we are facing. I think that's nicely put. Tulsi Gabbard, great to see you tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.